Yo, what's up guys, Ghost here, and today we're talking vehicles in Battlefield 2042 and this strange new meter that has emerged. As you know, in patch 4.0, DICE heavily reduced the total number of attack vehicles available to each team, and of course they moved the Nightbird from the transport category into the flying attack vehicle category. Definitely uh, a good move, because let's face it, nobody views the Nightbird nor uses it as a transport vehicle, right? They use it to slaughter the enemy team and it feels completely overpowered. Now on paper, these changes sounded good, right? People were beginning to get tired of the vehicle spam. It was a massive problem, especially the Nightbirds with those rocket pods and DICE really needed to address it. Only I'm not sure they went about this the right way. They decided to also cut the number of vehicles drastically. And maybe this is just me, but I have a very hard time getting into a vehicle at all anymore. I barely even bother to look at the vehicle spawn screen, in fact, and I'm willing to bet that many of you don't either. And for the most part, Battlefield 2042 has now become an infantry-only game to me, because on 128 player maps, you have just one or two tanks or attack helis available. Let's just compare that to a game like Battlefield 4, for example. In a 64 player game of Goldmud Railway, each team gets one AA tank, one scout helicopter, five tanks, one attack jet, one stealth jet, and one attack helicopter. 10 attack vehicles in total. And then of course, there's also an extra AFV you can acquire by capturing your gimme flag and a second scout heli as well if you capture the central sea flag. In Battlefield 2042's 128 player maps, so, you know, bear that in mind, you're dealing with double the player base here. You now get just three vehicles in some situations. Something about that just doesn't really make sense to me. And I think it's because the vehicles in 2042 have just been so poorly balanced. And of course, the maps are just really unforgiving for infantry players. And that's what has led to this vehicle spam feeling. Putting those rocket pawns on the Nightbird was just a terrible idea. Like almost everything in the game, it's blatantly obvious to me that they didn't test them at all, even before the beta. You know, I could have told DICE that they were way too powerful. They're far too easy to use and much too effective. And in the case of the Nightbird, that for me at least is the core issue. So in my opinion, instead of just getting rid of all the vehicles and sweeping the problem under the rug, they should have looked at the root cause for the issue and made some changes there instead. The maps have no cover at all between flags, which would have helped a lot when hiding from vehicles, although it does sound like DICE are making some changes in that regard, which is good. But the funniest thing, right, is that now that there are so few tanks and helicopters, that this new vehicle meter, if you will, has emerged. And I'm not sure it's any better than what we had in the first place. So the Balti, for whatever reason, was not moved into the ground attack category in update 4.0 as promised. And now that there are no tanks on the maps to counter the Balti and keep them in check, right, the tank is like the hard counter. They're just running riot all over the place with their 30mm cannons just gunning down infantry left, right and centre. And then in the skies, you have a similar problem. The transport helicopters are now in their own section and you can pretty much always spawn one because they're so plentiful. They've turned into AC-130 gunships that destroy anything and everything in their path. Believe me, if you haven't tried using the 50mm cannon, it's better than an attack helicopter, man. It really is. The miniguns on the side can make short work of infantry and air vehicles. And then you have another passenger repairing as well. Again, the main counter to the transport helis were the attack helicopters. Now that the Nightbird has been lumped into the same category, if you are lucky enough to get a spawn, everybody picks the Nightbird over the attack heli because it can shred infantry um, they usually stay away from enemy transports because they're just ludicrously tanky and can destroy Nightbirds very easily. Honestly, when DICE made these changes, I don't think they saw this coming. They should have done, but they didn't. So, I really hope DICE are going to go back to the drawing board on this one at some point. They really can't leave the vehicle play 
the way it is at the moment. I know there are more pressing issues, okay, that need to be prioritized like the specialists or the map changes, but hopefully after that, we're going to see a vehicle feedback session as well on what needs to be changed there. Speaking of which, didn't DICE promise us the specialist feedback ages ago? I mean, what's going on with that DICE? Come on, it's almost June. June soon, boom, let's go. Guys, let me know how you've been finding the new patch in terms of vehicle play. I don't know, maybe it's just me that feels this way. Perhaps some of you guys think these changes are great or you know, maybe you just couldn't even care less about vehicles. Whatever your opinion, I'd be interested to hear what you think down below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.